Have you ever wondered how people found their way around before the invention of GPS and other modern technologies? The question sparks curiosity, doesn't it? Picture a world without maps, compasses or satellites. Imagine setting sail into the vast unknown, guided only by the stars, the sun and the patterns of the waves. That was the reality for our ancestors. Navigation, the art and science of finding one's way, has been crucial throughout history. It was the key to exploration, trade, warfare and even cultural exchange. Despite the lack of technology, ancient civilizations were not deterred from exploring the world. They developed remarkable methods of navigation, relying on natural landmarks, celestial bodies and even the behavior of wildlife. From the earliest human migrations to the great voyages of discovery, navigation has shaped the course of history in profound ways. So let's embark on a journey through time to discover how our ancestors navigated the world. In the early days of human history, people relied on simple yet effective methods to find their way. As they roamed the vast landscapes, early humans etched their paths using recognizable landmarks. Towering mountains, meandering rivers, and unique rock formations served as their guides. Their understanding of the natural world was crucial. They observed the movement of the sun, rising in the east and setting in the west, providing a rudimentary compass during the day. At night, they turned their gaze upwards. The stars were more than just twinkling lights in the sky. They were celestial roadmaps. Constellations guided them, while the North Star, steadfast and reliable, pointed the way north. Other natural features also played a significant role. The direction of the wind, the flight patterns of birds, even the growth of moss on trees provided valuable clues. Even without sophisticated tools, early humans found ingenious ways to navigate their surroundings. As civilizations began to explore the seas, they developed more complex methods of navigation. The night sky became a map for these explorers, with stars and constellations serving as landmarks. Ancient mariners, including the Greeks and Polynesians, mastered the art of celestial navigation, deciphering the patterns of the stars to chart their course. The Greeks, for instance, developed the use of astrolabes, complex devices that allowed them to measure the angle between a celestial body and the horizon. On the other side of the globe, Polynesian sailors relied on their intimate knowledge of the stars, the movement of waves, and the behavior of marine life to navigate the vast Pacific Ocean. The sextant, another crucial navigational tool, was a later invention but built on these ancient principles. It allowed sailors to measure the angle between a celestial object and the horizon, providing a more precise means of determining latitude. The stars guided our ancestors across the vast oceans. During the Middle Ages, navigation took a significant leap forward. This period saw the rise of two major tools that revolutionized the way people navigated, the compass and the map. The compass, an instrument that indicates direction relative to the geographic cardinal directions, was a game-changer. It provided a reliable means of determining direction, even when the stars, the sun or other natural landmarks were not visible. Maps became more detailed and accurate, depicting coastlines, rivers and even specific landmarks. They served as visual aids for sailors, helping them plan their routes and understand their surroundings better. However, even with these tools, celestial navigation was still crucial. Mariners would use the position of the stars, moon and sun to determine their latitude. They would then cross-reference this with their compass reading and map to determine their exact location. The combination of technology and observation made navigation more precise and reliable. These medieval techniques laid the groundwork for the advanced navigation methods we use today. The Age of Exploration saw new advancements in navigation that allowed explorers to chart the globe. As the 15th century dawned, so did a fervor for discovery and a thirst for knowledge. The mysteries of the world were waiting to be unraveled, and the tools to do so were rapidly evolving. Two key inventions that revolutionized maritime navigation during this era were the chronometer and the marine sextant. The chronometer, a precise timekeeping device, was a game-changer for seafarers. Before its invention, determining longitude was a hit or miss affair, often resulting in lost ships and disoriented sailors. But with the advent of the chronometer, 
sailors could accurately measure time despite the motion of the ship, leading to more precise calculations of longitude. This made sea voyages safer and more predictable. The marine sextant, on the other hand, was a tool used to measure the angle between two visible objects. The most common use was to determine the angle between a celestial object and the horizon, which was then used to calculate latitude. The sextant's high level of accuracy made it an indispensable tool for explorers during this age of discovery. Alongside these two inventions, there was a significant improvement in the quality of maps. Cartographers began to incorporate the findings of explorers, creating increasingly accurate representations of the world. These maps became the blueprint for future voyages, guiding explorers to new lands and unknown territories. With the chronometer, the sextant and improved maps, the world became a less daunting place. These tools not only made long-distance travel possible, but also made it accurate. Suddenly, the globe was not filled with monsters and abysses, but with continents and oceans that were waiting to be explored. With these tools in hand, explorers could confidently venture into unknown territories. The age of exploration was a time of discovery, of pushing boundaries and of expanding our understanding of the world. It was a time when the tools of navigation led humanity into a new age of knowledge and exploration. In the modern era, navigation has become a science of precision. As we left behind the ancient sextants, compasses and star charts, we embraced a new era of technological innovation. The forefront of this change, the Global Positioning System, or as we commonly know it, GPS. The origins of GPS can be traced back to the height of the Cold War, when the US Department of Defense began its development. Initially, it was a military tool, but over time, its use expanded to civilian sectors. With 24 satellites in operation around the globe, GPS allows us to determine our position anywhere on the planet with incredible accuracy. But how does it work? Each satellite sends out a signal. Your GPS device receives this signal and calculates how long it took to arrive. By doing this with multiple satellites, your device can triangulate your exact position on the globe. It's a fascinating dance of signals and calculations taking place every time you ask your phone for directions. The advent of satellite technology has revolutionized navigation. It has not only made it more precise, but also more accessible. Anyone with a smartphone now has the power of advanced navigation at their fingertips. It's a far cry from the days of squinting at a sextant or laboriously plotting a course with a compass and map. But GPS is not the only player in the game. Other global navigation satellite systems have emerged, like Russia's GLONASS, Europe's Galileo, and China's Beidou. These systems provide an alternate means of position determination, each with their unique capabilities and advantages. It's important to remember that while we've come a long way from the days of ancient mariners navigating by the stars, the principles remain the same. We still rely on the sky above us, albeit now it's filled with satellites instead of stars. The tools have changed, but the art of navigation endures. Today we can pinpoint our location anywhere in the world with the push of a button. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a testament to our relentless quest for discovery and exploration. And it's a testament to our ability to transform complex science and technology into something as simple and everyday as finding our way home. From observing the stars to using high-tech GPS, navigation techniques have come a long way. We have voyaged through time today, exploring the various ways our ancestors charted their paths and found their way around this vast world. Let's take a moment to reflect on our journey. We began with primitive navigation, where early humans used landmarks and intuitive sense to traverse their surroundings. As societies evolved, so did their methods. Ancient mariners relied heavily on celestial bodies, using the sun, moon, planets and stars as their guiding lights across the vast uncharted seas. As we moved into the medieval times, we saw the emergence of more sophisticated techniques, the use of compasses, astrolabes and quadrant became common, allowing mariners to accurately determine their latitude and plan their voyages with greater precision. Then came the age of exploration, a time when the world as we knew it expanded dramatically. Mariners like Christopher Columbus and Vasco da Gama used a combination of these techniques, charting new routes and connecting continents. This era was a turning point. 
shaping the modern world as we know it. In the modern age, we have seen a technological revolution in navigation. From the invention of the chronometer, which allowed for the precise determination of longitude, to the development of satellite-based GPS systems, we have tools at our disposal that our ancestors could only dream of. Each of these techniques, primitive or modern, has been instrumental in shaping our understanding of the world. They have allowed us to explore, to connect and to grow. They have pushed the boundaries of our knowledge and encouraged us to strive for new horizons. So as we conclude our journey, remember these techniques are not just historical facts. They are a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of understanding. If you enjoyed this journey through the history of navigation, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into our past.